So often in safety meetings or daily huddles on projects, when we talk about safety, we talk about gloves, glasses, hard hats, hearing protection, high visibility wear, and even fall protection, which is good. Those are important things. These are called personal protective equipment. But did you know that really this stuff here is the last line of defense in safety? Yes, these things should be the last thing that we're talking about. It's like the seatbelt of a vehicle. When other things fail, these, our personal protective equipment, have to work. And so really, as we think about real safety, affecting real safety, preventing real injuries, we shouldn't rely on personal protective equipment as being the only source of injury prevention. No, but we want to use what's called the hierarchy of controls. Yes, the hierarchy of controls. That's a valuable tool that we should be using to really analyze our work to really prevent injuries. Yes, we don't start with personal protective equipment. That should be the thing that we end with. No, but we want to start with these questions first. Can we eliminate the hazard? That's the first step. If the hazard has been eliminated, there's no risk of injury. If that doesn't work, well, can we substitute it out with something else? Here's an example. We have silica found in many materials, like drywall compound. Well, can we use a different compound that doesn't have silica in it? That's substitution. Can we use engineering controls, guardrails, hole covers, other things that actually keep people away from the hazard? That should be the third question that we ask. And if that doesn't work, then we use what's called administrative controls, which is training, it's signs, coupled with personal protective equipment. The last step of what's called the hierarchy of controls. Yes, so we want to start asking questions about hazard elimination, substitution, and then using engineering controls like guardrails or hole covers. And then we want to finish with administrative controls like training, signage, and personal protective equipment. And if we can use a combination of these on our projects, well then we'll be taking a whole nother step forward to truly working without injury, really creating an injury-free environment. Let's keep doing that. Let's work hard, let's work safe, so we can go home to be with our families.